Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today I'm back with you with another kit review. This is Mini Art 124 scale D8506 model 1937 German tractor known as the Lanced Bulldog. Uh, they do this from 1935, I think it got released, and it's all the way up until 1940s. And I think there's a the couple that were still going in the 50s. Um, highly sought after tractor, there's quite a few around, they've been restored, um, so it's a, a pretty good machine. Um, it's a weird way of starting. They have to use a hand crank, and it's not a traditional hand crank where you have to go around and around. You have to rock it side to side, and it's quite dangerous. There's quite a few videos on YouTube how to get these started, and uh, go and check them out. It's a pretty good, cool machine. We're going to take a look at this one, because they do this in 124 scale now, which is what you see here. Normally, it's in 135. Let's take a look inside this box. Also, kit number is 24003. So all you see here is what you get for the box. This tractor is one of the paint schemes. It's like a darkish blue with the red wheels. You can do it in green. Several variants. This side of the box of mini art, different languages about the kit. Warnings, 14 plus, QR code for. Here is this side again. Here are the two main schemes that are in the box: the bluish grey and green. Cardograph decals, which is a nice touch, so I'm gonna have no problems with them. Inside the box is typical mini art, everything's in one bag, nice and sturdy. Instructions and worksheet. So, further ado, we get instructions first and then we go on to sprues. So, here's your worksheet instructions, nicely done. Um, quite a small manual for this one Very first step as you see is all your sprues and Stuff that you get in the kit good way of checking make sure everything's there your color call outs are down the bottom um, So here's your color call outs So you're starting off with the lower section of the tractor which is kind of like the engine area and and the gearbox and stuff like that obviously it's two halves it's pretty standard nice detail parts all around and then you're adding on the front housing um, this is like a firebox this is how you uh, get the uh, vehicle started you have to heat the uh, basically the engine up and the, the stuff like that and I'm gonna say check out the videos on YouTube how it's done pretty cool machine uh, this is the section at the back where you can tow stuff in like trailers and stuff then you have a another plate part of the steering and then this here is basically the engine cover or the hood or bonnet or whatever um, I think this is kind of holds fuel in, on the real vehicle and water and stuff like that this is kind of the radiator on the side it is like a copper um, radiator um, and this is what they call they call it out for to be copper painted as well so it's that type of thing it has the uh, nice grill uh, molded in so that's going to be painted like a dark red and you're going to highlight the letters in gold so nice fine detail paint in there more levers I think this is to do with changing gears and handbrake and stuff like that and clutch maybe as I say check those videos out uh, this is part of the uh, uh, starting mechanism this is all the uh, details inside it um, here is meet your main floor and then you've got more levers and stuff this is the other side which is got the uh, opposite side of the tractor and it has the uh, belt and that what drives the uh, machine and you've got safety covers the early ones didn't have these safety covers and obviously later on they upgraded more and more and more and made it more safer um, 
you've got your tow bar bit at the back your, uh, your seat goes on as well up here fenders and then we have what looks like brake assembly they're like kind of disc brakes I should imagine not disc brakes, um, drum brakes sorry and then we have the tyres, they're moulded in one piece centre and then you've got two outer caps to make the detail that's for your rear and then the front uh, wheels are multiple piece and this is how they've got around the detail there are no rubber tyres, this is all plastic which is nice here, this is part of the steering and they're telling you not to glue the areas so I imagine it will kind of move I don't know how well that's going to work this is your tyre once built you do have a spacer this is your rear tyre putting on the front steering and the rest of the arms your exhaust and uh, some other I think one of them's air filter and one of them's exhaust and then attaching your front wheels and rear steering wheel a couple of more details as you go around and foot pedals um, actually to get the vehicle started is the steering wheel the steering wheel comes off and you put it on the side of the vehicle and that's when you rock it side to side to get it started and then once, you, once it starts to go and uh, tick over you can take that back and put it back into normal steering position um, this is the green version with red wheels and then you've got the uh, bluish grey version with red wheels and this is the one I'll be doing because this is the one from 1938 <clears throat> up until 45 so this is going to fit my time period with a group build that I'm currently going to be doing now this is all the plastic comes in one giant bag so I'm quickly going to open this and then we'll take a look inside so here is all your plastic parts and you get clear and decals in this one bag basically I'm not sure what this big square piece is I'm, I think that's for a different variant but obviously we will use the lights so no particular order we just work our way down we have these tyres sections as I say they are moulded as one large piece and then you put the both sides to finish it off so detail is pretty good the tread pattern so two of these here are the in out and outers for the tyres like I say these will sit on the yeah, outer in here you know. again two of them nice detail Does have some writing on there. Pretty cool. You do have these ejector pins, you have to remove them, just little click off ones, which is not a problem. So nicely done. Now this sprue here. There's E, this is all your detail parts. Here's the floor, part of the hood, part of the arms leaf springs this is the drum brakes more levers um, so yeah nicely done diamond type pattern ish on the floor is your drum brake assembly part of the uh, top of the hood leaf springs uh, actually got more detail on this side And then we have smaller detail parts all, all along the bottom. There's one of these sprues. This is sprue C. Stroke E. Uh, this is the back of the tra uh, tractor where you can attach implements. Here's part of the hood. One of the spacers. And this is the fenders moulded as one piece pretty much.
Now we have sprue D, stroke B. We have that cover for starting. We have your seat and detail parts. Part of the uh, air filter, I believe. Here's the other side of the seat. And air filter sections, nicely done. Now we have two of these. These are going to be your smaller wheels for the front. So this multiple section are the inners and these are the outers. This is how they've got around the detail. So it shouldn't require too much sanding. Nicely done. Remember this is 124 scale as well, so it's quite a bigger tractor than the the ones that normally come out of a 35th. This is CB uh, sprue, not a, a ton of parts on this one, there's only a small amount. Detail parts. There was actually two of those. And they are the largest sprue in the box. Is the rest of the tractor, so you have the main engine section, your covers, uh, rest of the engine. Here's that clutch assembly for getting it started. It's basically like a flywheel, and once it gets the momentum, that's what's going to cause it to uh, tick over and start. The other rest of the flywheels, the side of the uh, hood, so this part is painted, and then this section here is where the radiator is, kind of thing. Different parts for exhaust and air filter, the rest of the covers, your steering wheel, stroke handle starter, whatever you want to call it. Lots of small details. Tons of small detail there, nice bolt detail. Plus some of the sections for extra detail, if you want bolts in certain areas it calls out. They've given you these bolts that are on this sprue section, so you will have to cut these off. For extra detail. There's that clutch assembly for the starter. That's going to be hidden behind, the, behind this, so I wouldn't worry about detailing that up too much. Unless you want to make it a scene where it's in... Uh, a bad condition or it's being worked on in a garage or something then you could possibly leave this cover off and paint all of this and have this visible it's tied up to you if you want to do it that way your steering wheel the rest of the hood there's the front of the hood it's with the uh, brand that's going to be painted nicely detailed parts the rest of it here is your radiator and it is got a texture to it um, This is this is quite textured. Let's see if I can zoom in close and get. So this would be like a brass or a copper, I think. Here's part of the rest of the flywheel, and it has the um, the belt moulded in. That would be like a black rubber belt. You have the rest of the flywheels. It's like flash, but it wasn't. So yeah, it's nicely done. And the last piece, like I could say, were markings. So, clear sprue. It's just a flat panel and headlights. That is pretty damn clear. Nicely moulded. And then the very last piece is just the markings, basic markings. Nothing fancy. So there you are my friends, another kit from Mini Art 124 scale German tractor D8506 uh, Lance Bulldog. Like, comment, subscribe, 
and I catch you next time.